Adil. I'm from originally. I have lived in London more than half of my life. This is an occasion because it brings together the world where they can discuss mutual concerns and they can discuss the problems of the Muslim because Muslims all over the world are one nation. That's how they should look at themselves and this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes them in uh, his book. So this is a great opportunity for all of them to meet together and get to know one another and bring a sort of contact, continuous contact after the conference. Of course the conference is a two or three days, but then they can establish contacts which are of benefit to Muslims everywhere. Islamic Union is a great goal. Dictatorship is the worst evil, second worst, more, second worst evil man has created. The first evil is disbelief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the second is dictatorship. Unfortunately, in many Muslim countries, dictatorship is at every level, at the family level, at the business level, at the social level, and at the political level. Islam has enshrined the right of freedom for mankind and this is the first human right in Islam. It takes higher, higher position than the right to life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that religious oppression is worse than killing. So when you negate mind, you negate it life. So, Muslim Islamic Union will not be achieved unless man, Muslims are free. And why Muslims are under dictatorships, it is difficult for them to get united. But inshallah, this is, will be uh, an achievable goal. Turkey gives us a shining example, freedom under Islam.